cool. Okay. Next question. Kevin Thunderstorm on Instagram. Andrew, how did you get the name of the beat? Uh, you know, as, as um as I was growing up as you know in the amateurs, I was always calling myself the Beast. And um, I, I guess um, uh, one of the guys um, that worked for Mayweather promotion name is um, Matt Matt John. He um he just he just named me that on one of the websites, and I just went with it like, okay, yeah, the Beast, all right. So that's yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> so Matt Matt gave you that name too. Yeah, yeah. I, I was actually thinking of a different name, and um, Matt just said yeah, Beast. And I was like, you know what? I used to call myself that back in the day, so let me go ahead and just... <laughs> shout out, shout out to Matt Young. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Kevin, that was a good question. Kevin, Kevin from also Mayweather Promotions. Okay, next question. We got Dodge Hood on Instagram. When is Andrew's next fight? Well, I can answer that one. We don't know. We don't know when any of the next fights are, but hopefully, you know, um, Things are coming together, you know, specifically here in the state of Nevada. Um, we're, we're getting good guidance from our governor. Um, we're, we're listening to the health officials. And when they say it's time to go, we're going to be ready to go. Yeah. Okay. I'm Next anxious. question. <laughs> Breaking bread on Instagram. Andrew, how was your, tra how was your training overseas with Anthony Joshua? That's a good question. Uh, training was it was good. It was real good. Um, you know, just go out there and you know gain experience from especially a world class fighter. And um, you know, also it just you know put me in a put me in a place that you know also could believe in myself and and see what I have too. And um, you know, just going there, going out there and helping the best one of the best heavyweight champions of the world. You know, get ready. You know, so it was also a confident booster for myself. So it was um, it was a real real great experience to go out there. You know, it's also a good experience. You know, go to would, different would countries. You say, uh, out of the guys that, as the guy, out of the guys that um, you were in camp with in, with Joshua, um, do you think that you gave him the best work? Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I, I could definitely say I was the number one squad partner. You know, I, I, th I think um, I think if you see his fight, you see the highlights of his fight and stuff, and you know, yeah, he had a similar style to me. You know. You know, so it was, it was a lot of, it was, I, I seen a lot of myself in him. So, you know, that's, you know, so whatever I gave him, you know, he won the fight and I'm just happy for him. Yeah. Good. 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 Okay, next question. Dre XXI on Instagram. Andrew, who is the hardest puncher you've ever faced? The hardest puncher I've ever faced, you know. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I, you can go by saying my last fight, you know, that's, uh, you know, I, I really haven't got hit too much in my um, in my career, but um, you can probably say that on um, my last fight, um, Dorter Ghost. And you know, speaking on that, you know, that's definitely love to get a rematch. And, you know, and um, revenge that. And so that's that's one of my um, one of my um, future goals to get a rematch on that fight. Cool. Yeah. I would definitely, I would definitely like to see you get that back. Um, we we yes. know, you, you know, um, again. Like I said, we wish him, we wish him nothing but the best in, in his next fight, whenever that comes off. And um, again, we have a, a very good relationship with his team, and um, we we'll see what we can come up with. Yeah, make it happen. Now he said back. That's What's it. up, man? <laughs> Shout out to Big Ellie in the house. Okay. Next question. Jacob Dyberg thirty on Instagram. How Andrew? How quickly can you get into fight ready shape? Uh, fight ready shape. I say six weeks. You know, I stayed always stay in some type of shape. I'm always running, sparring. You know, I'm doing some strength and conditioning. But six weeks, uh, I'll be in some fight ready shape. You know, but you know, I, I'm always in the gym doing something. I'm, it's, it's not too much time I'm taking off. Of um, you know, being a gym. I'm a I'm a gym rat. I'm addicted to the boxing game, man. Yeah. I'm always in some shape. I'm never just completely out of shape. So, Drew, what is let the fans know what your walking around weight is? Since right now, right now, uh, right now I'm about 220. I'm 220 right now. Um, you know, before before now, I start when I start um as my pro career, I was walking around about two 205. But um, time I fight. Uh, time I'd be like 195, and that, that was just too small for me as a cruiserweight. So, 
because I, you know, I run five miles a day when I train. So I want to start walking around big, 220. Then, you know, just when I when I get to heavyweight, the when I when I try to when I go, um, go for the heavyweight, it'd be easy for me to tradition to that. Yeah, because when you eventually do make that move, one thing you will have is a a tremendous hand speed advantage. And right. Obviously, with your great skill set, you you'll be right in the thick of things. Okay. Next question. Um, strap two X on Instagram. Andrew, if you had to pick another career outside of boxing, what would it be? That's a good question. Oh, that's you know, uh, you know, some type of entrepreneur. You know, um, you know, I want to just be able to, you know, I want I want to be able to do things like, like you know, you know, sell like beer pro- beer products. I'm trying to launch a beer um, company. With my brother, I'm also trying to launch a jump rope um, company. You know, and also I want to give back. Just um, you know, being a trainer, doing some type of things in um to the boxing community, give back to you know um just um you know youth and um just things like that. Yeah. That's positive. That's it. That's what it's always about being positive. Yeah. Why um, at Truth on Instagram? Andrew, what video games are you playing right now? Uh, my favorite video game I'm playing is um, Call of Duty. Yeah, I'm, I'm on it all the time. So, you, know, you any good? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm real good at Call of Duty. You know, so okay. you know any, anybody, hey, anybody want to want to smoke in Call of Duty? You know, come on. Okay, so <laughs> you put you put that out there to the fans. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, Abby. Whoever wants that Abby work. Abby and Angie Tibidi. Yeah, in, yeah, Call of Duty. Yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> I'm on it. Okay. okay, cool. Stacy Mayweather, what's your uh, what's your favorite? Uh, what's your tag? That's well, Stacey. What was that? That's Stacy. Well, what do you say? Oh, you just answered that question. What was your tag? That's uh, my tag. Oh, uh, I believe I'm. Um, my tag is an Andrew Tabidi 89. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. got that, you got that, Sam? Zach looking for that word. Hey, next question. <laughs> L Jody Poeta on Instagram. What are your best exercises for reflex? I'm just um, sparring. You know, you got to um, just sparring for the reflex. And also doing mitts. If you, if you can't get good sparring, you know, doing mitts with your trainer, you know. I'm always shadow boxing. Shadow boxing, working on different things, you know, moving your head. But I say, I say the main thing is sparring if you want to work on your reflex. How long How long are your normal mitt sessions? Uh, my mitt sessions, um, so it'd be about 30 minutes. I do... I do like ten minutes, then take take part like a round off, do another ten minutes, so 20, 20 to thirty minutes of mitts every day. And um, that uh, mitts, it, cool. you know, will help your accuracy, you know, hand eye coordination, you know. So mitts is really important in this game too. Cool. Next question, I'm in on Instagram. What are the best tips you got from Floyd Senior? Man, um, a lot, you know, a lot of stuff. Just, you know, just the jab, you know, you have me pumping jab, jab three times in a row, you know, just shoot. I, I learned a lot of boxing. Most of my boxing, you know, came from Floyd Senior, you know. So, uh, you know, when I was my first, when I first, uh, when I first came with, with Floyd, I was just, you know, I was still a pretty good boxer, but, you know, I was mostly trying to brawl and, you know what I'm saying, trying to get guys out of there. But he, he, he taught me, Tell me how to be smart in there. Reflexes and putting the jab and moving, sticking to moving up and down, different punches, you know, punches and bunches, you know, all that, all that stuff. So, shout out, shout, out shout out to one of the best. <laughs> There's no, doubt. I mean, you, you know, and, and he taught TBE, so everything you know. Right. So, yeah. you know, shout out to Big Floyd and holding it down. Yeah. 